All right, everyone, it's time for November pickups. Seems like October kind of flew by real quick, so kind of shocked that it's already November, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's get on to the first item, which is an eBay purchase from Italy. Let's see what's inside. And what's inside is this 3D printed GoTech display and button bracket for the Amiga 500. Let me grab my Amiga and show you how this works. So the way it works is it basically just clips on over here to the vent holes and the display is routed through these vents and right into this little window here. Now it's designed for an OLED display which I'm going to install. The other thing I have to do is get a knob because it replaces the buttons that go up and down to the different disk images and replaces with a knob which makes selecting an image much more uh, quick. So. And I opted for the beige-ish Amiga color since it's an Amiga 500. Not quite an exact match, but close enough. Definitely better than just having this thing stuck in there like that. So I'll probably do a video on that, plus a follow-up that I haven't done since the original video came out. So I've uh, learned a few things about it. Anyway, on to the next item. All right, and the next pickups for November. Well, one comes from a game store and the other two comes from a retro record cassette CD game store. So, so the game that I picked up from a retro game store is a copy of Rage Racer, which was the sequel to Ridge Racer on PlayStation. I think I own this game. I know I played it. I just don't remember if I actually owned it or not. So, and the two games that I picked up from the retro store are Uncharted and Uncharted 2 which should complete my collection on the PlayStation 3. And then another item came in the same day. It was an eBay purchase. This large envelope, which contained <laughs> this tiny little chip, basically. And what this is, is an SD to SP2, which is effectively an SD card reader for the serial port 2 on your GameCube. The GameCube has two serial ports, and uh, this one is designed for the serial port 2, and it allows you to load, well, software basically on your GameCube, provided that you have uh, some sort of unlock on there, some sort of jailbreak, uh, and that's usually done through the uh, memory card slot 2 using an SD card to memory card adapter. Not too familiar with how to jailbreak GameCube, so I, sorry for not explaining it the correct way, I will actually do a video in the future on uh, jailbreaking my GameCube and getting it to do all kinds of things. So there's that and we'll move on to the next items. All right, and the last two items for November are this, which I already opened up because I was kind of excited to get to make sure it worked so I could file a claim if it didn't. And this is a Pro Mouse for, in my case, specifically the Power Mac G4 that I reviewed a while back and refurbished and everything remember that mouse did not work it had a kink right there and the only way to get inside of these mice is to basically break them open so what a replacement it does work cool and the last item is this actually a three pack it is a rotary encoder specifically in this case to use with the aforementioned Amiga GoTech mount for the OLED display and a rotary encoder. Um, ignore the wires, I added those after the fact because I was testing some things out to make sure everything was working. So I'm sorry, there's no unboxing for that. Like I said, I'm gonna make sure it works because I'm preparing a video for the Amiga to upgrade the three digit seven segment display to an OLED display as well as adding one of these to replace the traditional buttons. So, but that's basically it. So I lost the rest of the audio, so I'm just gonna summarize everything. I got the three games here, Uncharted, etc. The mouse, the GoTech mount, the rotary encoder for that, as well as the SP to SD2 adapter. Keep an eye out for videos in the future for the Amiga and the GameCube as I use those mods. Otherwise, what you think of the video? What you think of my pickups? If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to, but there's never any obligation. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down, but please leave a comment below as to why so I can try to use that to help things going forward. Otherwise, thanks all and I'll catch you later.